a very good evening from the grand old York Hall here in Bethnal Green. The new boxing brought to you by Warrior and Hellraiser Promotions. Making his way to the ring. Man build is the shortest man in boxing. Four feet, 11 inches tall. And it's Reese Taylor making his debut in the heart of London. to pick a venue worldwide to make a professional boxing debut dear old your call is about as aspirational as it gets for any young boxers and for Reese Taylor in the blue shorts Casey Kadami in the green they've got their wishes this evening Taylor in the southpaw stance as we said shortest boxer in Britain four feet 11 inches shorter than Jimmy Wilde, who was built at 5 foot 2. Working well with the feet at the moment. Nice right hand from Kadami. Who's been called uh, a pleasure to work with by his trainer Johnny Eames. Oof, long left hand, didn't miss by much from Taylor. Just a bit of switch hitting momentarily from the man in blue. Wonder whether that's a sign of things to come. Could Amy patient, just trying to line up that right hand to the body. And the KG opening minute or so. Could Amy's family paid for the ring to be refurbished at the Johnny Eames gym. Sport that's really integrated him into the local community. Made a nice relaxed start here, shaping up well. He's been sparring with 
Harvey Horn, who was spent a number of years on the GB amateur squad and narrowly missed out on going to the Rio Olympic Games. Competitive uh, flyweight division it was, and Galaria Fight, younger brother of Khaled and Gamal, who was eventually chosen to represent Great Britain at the Games. Nice exchange there, just uh, the two men coming together. Horn, of course, turning professional about three or four weeks ago now. So good sparring for Kid Amy. And ironically, the only sparring they could get in the lead-up to this fight was Harvey Horn. He's a Southport. And Reed came in at late notice and obviously happens to be a Southport himself. So pretty lucky. Not many of them around. And Reed certainly awkward, switch hitting a little bit. Changing styles and shapes. Just a long right hand to the body. See Reed just countering the combinations with his back to the ropes. Just trying to draw Gisemi into the space. Amy himself just trying not to be baited and well, an interesting little chess match developed through round number one. Nice opening round for these two. Uh, a footballer in the Aston Villa Academy as a striker for three years. So four three minute rounds here at your call. Into round number two we go. Taylor again in that kind of negative stance and he's trying to force Kadami to jump into his space and Kadami obliges that time. Maybe just words in the corner to tell him to try and take the impetus a little bit more, start to put a bit of pressure on Taylor. Took his time, Kadami, working his way into this one in the first round, perhaps just gathering a bit of data. A sensible, mature start from him, and already in this second round, he just seems to be putting the foot to the floor a little bit and just trying to see what Taylor is made of. Taylor's still maintaining that posture, slightly negative, almost Cuban stance, just leaning over the back foot, trying to draw the counter. See there, trying to dip to his left, just bring that left hand counter over the top. Oh, the two come together. Got to watch those heads. Now, Kadami just trying to walk through him, just using his boxing early on, but now just going to try and put some pressure on to Taylor. Nice long left hand from Taylor, but I think just smothered a little bit by the gloves of. Kadami, but it's a cut over the left eye of Casey Kadami. Don't know whether that was from a, a coming together of heads. I think it probably was. They've both come together on a number of occasions. I think it was only a matter of time, really, before that happened. And of course, uh, with the height difference as well, top of the head of Reese Taylor just perfectly lined up with the eyebrow ridge of Casey Kadami. Have to see what that don't, if that one develops or not. He's just blinking a little bit in that left eye. Nice left hook landed there from Kadami though. And just look down to his family and friends. Just uh, sat ringside Kadami. Landed a short right on the inside. Did that hurt Taylor? Just momentarily switches to. Orthodox in the corner. Keep 
Taylor holding now for the first time in the contest. Short uppercut lands on the inside. Kadami opens up, lands the right hand and the left hook too. Complains to the referee about the, uh, the heads coming together again. I think inevitable with the, the stylistic matchup that we've got, but he's got a big open cut above his left eye. Has started to run into the eye. Just two more rounds to go, remember. Johnny Eames in his corner, looking calm and collected. Certainly in control of the contest so far. Now he can fight, and he's shaped up well through these first three, or first two rounds. But going into three, he's just got to navigate a slightly uncomfortable position of having that cut, and if that starts to reopen and runs into the eye, he's going to have to be careful. But again, they come together. And every time Kadami jumps into space, Reed tries to close the gap, although that right hand just stunned him. Interesting tactic by Reed. You can see him. Reed Taylor just every time Kanavi steps in, he just jumps in himself, really shuts that gap down. But the problem is that the direction his head's moving, the heads keep coming together. Just by virtue of the height difference. A nice shot there. From Kadami, left hook landed. Blood from the eye starts to pour again. something's happening here I don't think the doctor ringside physician looks too pleased with the state of the cut oh, hey, that was what was indicated what it looked like from here the referee trying to say to the guys listen keep these keep the heads apart oh they come together directly again just a really uncomfortable one to watch this Taylor does come forward and I think actually there's 
great deal Cavani to do about this. Hello, hello. Apart from trying to faint the defeat, step back and walk Taylor onto a couple of counters. Oh, what a messy one this is for a debut. I don't think any of these two will look back on this with particularly fond memories at the end of four rounds. So Taylor just switches again momentarily. A stiff jab to the body from Kadami. That hurt Taylor. Right hand lands. Good work from the man in green. Best spell of the contest for him so far. And again, that long telegraph left hand from Taylor just wings away. Kadami just meets him shot for shot on the inside. Stand up finish to what has been a memorable contest for. Most of the wrong reasons, I think. And those two cuts are going to take a little while to heal, whatever the result for Kadami. Wings away, Taylor with his back to the ropes. A couple of right hands and a left hook land on the inside. Taylor trying to hang on, and Kadami starting to pile the pressure on. Just swoops under that long left hand again. It's got everything of a York call feel about it, this one, isn't it? Blood again begins to pour down the face of Kalami as Taylor's head rubbing into those cuts again. And I think they've spent more time with their heads in contact with each other than they have apart the portions of this fight. And Taylor looks an incredibly tired man in the corner, flat footed. And he's just resorting to the haymakers. Short uppercut on the inside, lands for Kadami. Kadami still marches forward, short uppercut to the body on the inside. Taylor desperately just trying to catch a breather of sorts, but unable to do so. The two touch gloves, for goodness me, that's uh, that's one to forget, I think, for both of them. Go through the official announcement. So Casey Kadami off and running in his professional debut with a victory. Wasn't a pretty one either, but he's got the win and he's up and running.